Wallace and depression. Almost 10 years ago, I read an article in the New Atlantic about what depression did to David Foster Wallace, the author of acclaimed novel Infinite Jest. In that book, Wallace's main concerns were to break the walls of silos that we build around ourselves and help modern society whose individuals struggle to connect to each other. We all know that Wallace committed suicide in 2008, a year after he decided to quit the antidepressant Nardole because of its side effects. Since then, we have learned that Nardol could have long-term physical side effects that could degrade and shorten the quality of life. Regardless of what led into Wallace quitting Nardol, the side effects of many drugs, while they alleviate symptoms of depression, they also cause related difficulties that people are choosing to stay away from. Our work on depression has brought us many different techniques for a better understanding of chemical and biological causes of depression. Although a strong social and psychological dimension of depression has made it difficult to treat it, enough work has been done that has brought us to a juncture to turn the tide on this dreadful disorder. Despite the so-called psychopharmacology revolution, the suffering dimension of the medications have fueled research on the development of less invasive treatments like TMS. Especially, the use of functional MRI has made it possible to obtain vital information about brain networks. Such networks have origins in the neurophysiological processes involved in depression, and they can guide the TMS treatment. I'm a big fan of Wallace and wish that I could have helped him with this suffering by extending the benefits of this amazing technology to prolong his life. And in Therapeutics, we are bringing our patented technology to all the patients with neuropsychiatric disorders, including depression. Come to Neurotherapeutics and let's build your brain. For more content like this, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.